Those drenching winter rains that ended California's six-year drought painted Proctor Valley green this spring. Where every pool is mapped and numbered. Chaparral Lands Conservancy's David Hogan stands in the heart of the expansive landscape and sees a window into the region's past. You know, Proctor Valley is really special because it's such a large, relatively intact chunk of natural habitat land so close to the city. We're just east of the subdivisions in Chula Vista right now. Coastal sage scrub wraps around the hilltops. Delicate ephemeral wetlands known as vernal pools can be found on the valley floor. These seasonal puddles aren't around very long, but when they are wet, they are centers of life. Those vernal pools, they fill up with water and they last for two or three months. And there's all sorts of plants and animals that live just in those vernal pools and are adapted to those aquatic conditions. The pools are home to fairy shrimp, tadpoles, and insects. Endangered plants like pincushion, snorkelwort, and various grasses also live there. Some plants and animals are so well adapted and specialized, they can only live in this habitat. Tire tracks that go through the middle of this pool stand out, but they're no more than a lingering reminder of a man-made disturbance. Plants have reclaimed this pool. But other vernal pools in Proctor Valley have not fared as well. Hogan arrives at an area where the vernal pools have already dried out for the summer, and it's amazing that these pools are here at all. It was completely trashed. Um, when we first started here, off-road vehicle enthusiasts had used it as a staging area, parking, campfires, parties, target shooting. Here we go! The pools, mud puddles, were fun to drive through. Hogan says the gentle depressions became ditches carved out by oversized truck tires. But a seven-year-long restoration effort is turning back the clock. This is a vernal pool. It was an original natural pool, but it was extremely damaged. Lots of big tire ruts from off-road vehicles. The landscape here was flattened and reshaped. The habitat receded. And this particular plant right here, this bright green, is the vernal pool pincushion plant and it's found in very few places. Recovery efforts like this are critical for the species that call vernal pools home. That's because an estimated 97% of all vernal pool habitat has been lost in California. For when uh, waterfowl and come and munch on the, the fairy shrimp. Biologist David Zoutendijk works for the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service at the agency's Carlsbad office. So, okay, so we got a map here of um, all the historic vernal pool complexes in Southern California, starting up in Ventura, going through LA, all the way down, and even into Mexico. And as you can see, most of the vernal pools occurred along the coast. Zountendike says vernal pools typically formed on the region's flat mesas. It was perfect, you know, when people came to develop San Diego, flat, flat land, didn't need to do a lot of grading, so that's where the development occurred first. But the habitat isn't completely uh, gone. There are pockets of the pools scattered around the county. A lot of the mesa um, has been developed, so the vernal pools don't occur there anymore, obviously. And federal officials are currently working on a plan to preserve land for vernal pool habitat in the city of San Diego. You can see that there's these mounds in, in between the them. Back in the Proctor Valley, Brenda um, Bennett walks through the coastal the scrub. This area is just across the road from the vernal pool restoration site. Yeah, I'm heading over to a, a vernal pool. Uh, right now it's in the dry season. Bennett works for Rocks Biological. She's in the midst of a dry season survey. She's looking for signs of a vernal pool. And so we have this very golden, shorter, grass-like plant is actually Juncus buffonius. Uh, very common in vernal pools. Bennett records the information in her clipboard and moves on. It's actually not a native species. Her findings um, will be compared to what was here will, earlier yeah. this year. So, uh, the hope is that these will be restored and the invasives can be controlled and it'll allow um, more of the rarer and endangered species to persist. This ongoing $1.7 million effort in the Proctor Valley will eventually restore and protect about 38 acres of vernal pool habitat. This is exciting to see because this is a little population of California plantain. Conservationist David Hogan concedes that's just a tiny sliver of habitat, but he says it's an important sliver. So we're just trying to put a little section back the way it was supposed to be to protect that nature. Protecting that nature gives a host of fragile and delicate species a lifeline as San Diego moves forward into the future. Eric Anderson, 
KPBS News.